Are you a car enthusiast who likes the idea of having a classic car, but doesn't like the idea of being at the side of the road? There's a couple of options. There's EV conversions, or there's also a couple of companies now in the UK that do classic cars with up-to-date technology on a skateboard platform. We're at one today, Sabring Works. My name's Tim, welcome to Chargeheads. So here she is. She's a beaut, isn't she? Becca, how are we doing? Wow. This place is amazing. take me through this beautiful car in front of us here which has its lights on ready <laughs> it has indeed so this is our development car for our electric retro inspired sports cars um, so we have developed our skateboard chassis our electric platform on which we put any number of bodies on top yeah and this is uh, the demonstration that we took uh, to Goodwood Revival to launch our electric sports car that you obviously recognise. Yeah, I think it, it, it looks familiar. Yeah, it does look familiar, for sure. yes. Um, but we have a coupe version as well. And then we also are running um, another make or model um, in a wide and a narrow body speed a roadster. Wonderful. So the key thing for us is to maintain the classic look because we absolutely love classic cars and in the market space, the current array of electric vehicles are very modern, angular looking vehicles. Um, and there aren't many sports cars either, so, or any really. So what we've tried to achieve is a reliable car that's fun to drive, that has that classic look. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Now you mentioned the skateboard uh, platform. Yes. So this is what's underneath what we've just seen, is it? Absolutely. So we took the modern approach of designing our skateboard chassis, um, just so you, as you would with a modern EV. Um, and so this is essentially the same chassis under each of our models. Um, and we have developed it with a battery pack on the floor, yeah. which is good because it's a balanced car and a safer car now. And then, of course, we've got all the other components. It then means that we're freeing up um, a frunk and a boot, um, so a bit more storage, it's a bit more of a usable car. But it, it's so much better having taken this approach rather than all the lessons that we learned from converting cars was that we were fitting batteries into awkward spaces. Yeah. But by having this, this uh, platform with the, the battery packs and the floor, um, it gives us a much more reliable um, starting point. Mm. Um, and the fact that it's got DC charging as well. Yes. So. Obviously, yes. So this, this will fit either in the middle for yep. um, a couple of our models and then in, in to the side for um, our Healy replicas. Um, but yes, we've got the um, CCS charge in there as standard. Yep. So what we tried to do with our standard spec was make sure it was well spec so that you don't have, have hidden surprises. So the whole experience can be really good. So you know you've got a really solid car and the only things that you might have as optional extras are sort of graphics or perhaps particular paint work that, um, mm. that we've tried to give as much as we could in our basic specification. No, um, as soon as I saw it, the fact that it's got, you know, the batteries at the bottom, you've got the DC charging, a Tesla Model 3 motor, you know, this yeah. for me is an absolute game changer. Yeah, so what we've done by taking this approach means that we've standardised it. So yeah. Each vehicle is... is it's easier for us to scale. Um, you'll have the same vehicle as the next one. Um, so there's no bespoke you've done. Um, we've used parts that, you know, the BMW drivetrain uh, and obviously the Tesla motor that you talked about. Yeah. Um, but we've used parts that are accessible, um, that there's a good supply of. Um, and, 
and maximizing the fact that the engineering has already been done in that sense. Okay, no, that, that's fantastic. And I did spot a zero EV sticker, but uh, yeah. is it in uh, yes. collaboration with Felton now, isn't it? Yeah, so we did design the original platform and we're developing it, but what we realized early on was to scale up, that we would need to partner with someone to help us um, be able to, to do the one car a week that we yeah. are working towards. So Felton, as they are now known, yeah. um, have kindly partnered with us, which was fantastic for us. Um, and, and it's been a really good time of learning together. Yeah. Um, so we've made improvements to our original design. Um, they, I hope, have learned as well, um, because they that can help their other customers too. Yeah. Um, so that partnership has ensured that we can now uh, scale up to one a week. Yeah. Um, and we have an order book which requires us to be scaling up to one a week. Oh, yeah. Fantastic. Well, that's fantastic because, um, yeah, at the end of the day, these types of projects, they don't continue if you haven't got the order bank. So, no, that's fantastic. Yeah. And um, obviously the opportunity to keep developing, whether it's power density of batteries and, you know, upgrading the motors and things like that is, you know, the it, I see as this concept has been certainly a big, big part of the uh, classic or classic design style cars moving forward. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the, the key thing for us is to make sure that we were future proofing <laughs> everything that we did um, and also being able to scale um, and, and ensuring that every car that goes out the door is the same, it's yeah. the same high standard. So at this location, we are, um, this is where our customers and prospects will come. Yeah, it's lovely. Um, and it's more of a client facing space. Obviously, we've got a relaxing area and we have an area to go through customization for a customer. Um, and we've only just sort of moving in at the moment, um, but we will be in the area where you saw the platform and some of the other cars that are different stages of finish. That will be our final assembly space. So when customers come through the door, they'll actually be able to see the interiors being fitted out oh, and wow. some of the additional it's electrical parts. Even a car there. poking out, trying to, trying to escape up there. Well, there's several bodies in there. There are the little stock room is behind there. Oh, it's wonderful. quite a big stock room, um, but we've got some bodies there. That yellow Sebring um, body is, has quite a nice story to it Yeah. for another time. Um, and uh, so this was the original, before you've moved to being Sebring work, so to speak, the, vi the original yeah, Vital this, Spark This was conversion. our first demonstrator that we converted. Um, yeah. So we were focusing on MGBs and have developed an MGB kit. Um, so this car was one of the first ones. We learned a lot doing that. And obviously all the lessons that we learned converting um, cars have helped us develop the new cars. Yeah. Um, so the MGB, we've got um, battery packs front and back, um, which is why the boot space here is slightly smaller than it would have been. Yeah. Um, but it has produced a very balanced car. In fact, both every single side is equal. Yeah. Whereas when we took the car and weighed it to start with, it was misbalanced, ah. which is interesting. I'm, I'm slightly so, worried about that with mine, but we'll, uh, we'll soon find out. Well, but, you know. It now drives better. It's quieter. Okay. You can have a conversation in the car. But obviously, being a 40-plus-year-old car, it does have its little quirks and its noises and, and bangs as you're driving along. Yeah. Um, but it's reliable. It'll go out the garage with no problems, which is fantastic. No, super. So this is one of the EV conversions uh, from the previous business. It's a beautiful looking vehicle, this. Austin Healey. In a rather beautiful silvery blue pastel colour. Reminds me of my old uh, Nissan Silvia. Slightly different uh, type of vehicle, as I'm sure you'll agree. Look at the interior here, absolutely gorgeous. Right, but I'm sure I'll be back to have a play in one of these very, very soon. But that's been it from Sebring Works. It's been a fantastic visit. I found out so much more and it's a great option for people that want the classic design with the electric reliability and efficiency. Thanks for watching.